Okay, so next, let x be a co-countable topological space. where the underlying set is not countable. Then the space X is not separable. So proof. As every countable set C, which is necessarily a proper subset of the space X, is nowhere dense. In the space, the complement of the nowhere dense set is dense. And as countable sets are closed, its complement is open. So that is every non-empty open set, which is uncountable, is dense in the space X. So there does not exist a countable dense set in the space X and therefore the space X is not separable. Okay. Let X be a co-countable topological space let C which is a proper subset of the space be a countable set and let the set U be uncountable and will further insist that you be a proper subset of the space. So if we look at the interior enclosure of these subsets, and you start with the empty set, the empty set is always its own interior and its own closure. For the Countable set C, it is closed, and so it is its own closure. And as every non empty open set contains uncountably many elements, the interior of a countable set is the empty set. The uncountable set U is its own interior, and as it is dense, its closure is the entire set. And for the entire set, it is its own interior and its own closure. So notice that the only sets that are both open and closed are the empty set and the entire set. And so since the only sets which are both open and closed are the empty set and the entire set, we have that the space X is connected. Okay, so next. Once again, let X be a co-countable topological space.
where the underlying set is not countable. Then every point x in the space x is a cluster point. of the space, it's a proof. Let x be a point in the space, and let u be an open neighborhood. Of the point, then the set u is an open set that contains at least one element, and so it is non-empty. And so the set U contains uncountably many elements of the SpaceX, that is, every open neighborhood. U of X contains uncountably many and therefore infinitely many elements of the space X. And since the space is T1, or Frechet, this means that the point X is a cluster point. Of the space, now we chose the point X arbitrarily, and therefore every point X in the space X is a cluster point. Of the space. So as every point. And a co-countable. Topological space. on an uncountable set is a cluster point there are no isolated points in the space So now we can look at a consolidated table of the topological invariants that we have studied so far for the cofinite and co-countable topologies. Both topologies have zero isolated points. Both topologies are T1 or Frechet, but not Hausdorff. Both spaces are connected. Now, while the cofinite uh, topological space is separable, a co countable to uh, topological space is not separable. Okay, new definition. X together with a topology tau be a topological space. And let X be a point in the space. 
a neighborhood basis. at the point X is a collection which we will denote script B sub X of neighborhoods of the point X such that for every neighborhood U of X, there exists at least one element, B, in the collection script B sub X, such that the point X is in this element, which is a subset of the neighborhood U, that is, the collection script B sub X is a neighborhood basis. at the point X, if and only if, every neighborhood U of X contains as a subset at least one set B in the collection script B sub X. Now notice that in this definition the neighborhoods are not necessarily open neighborhoods and so we give a second definition that is related. Once again let the uh, set X together with the topology tau be a topological space. And let X be a point in the space, a local basis at the point X is a neighborhood basis at the point X, all of whose members are open. So clearly, every local basis is a neighborhood basis now uh, need to warn you that uh, some sources make no distinction between a local basis and a neighborhood basis but often these sources define a neighborhood to be an open set and so uh, if you do your own research and are searching the literature be very careful uh, on the use of the terms local basis and neighborhood basis. Now for our purposes we will make uh, a distinction. Again a neighborhood basis may contain a uh, neighborhood that is not an open set whereas a local basis is a neighborhood basis all of whose members are open sets. So for us a neighborhood basis is a local basis only all of its members are open. So as an exercise Uh, the set X together with the topology tau be a topological space
let x be a point in the space, and let the collection script b sub x be a local basis, correction, a neighborhood basis, at the point x, show that the collection script c sub x consisting of the interiors of the sets b, where those sets b are in the collection, script b sub x, is a local basis at the point x. And as a second exercise, let the collection script b be a basis for a topology on a set X show that the collection script B sub X consisting of those basis elements which contain a specified point X or the specified point X is a local basis at the point X. Okay, so new definition. Once again, let the set X together with a topology tau be a topological space. Then, the space X is first countable if and only if it has a countable neighborhood basis for every point in the space X and the space X is second countable if and only if it has a countable basis In parentheses, I'll state for the topology tau. So notice that every second countable space is first countable. Since every local basis b sub x at a point x is a subset of the basis and as the basis is countable as it is a second countable space the basis is countable the subset b sub x, or script b sub x, of the basis is also countable. And again, this is true for every uh, local basis or uh, for every point x in the space x.